Hey guys, Josh here and in today's video I'm going to be taking a first look at Stranded Sales. So this is an open world farming and exploration game that takes place in the Caribbean and it's been out for a little while. It's available on PC as well as consoles. I've heard good things about this game. Some people recommended it to me so I got it on sale on Steam. It was like five or six dollars but the regular price is a bit higher. But yeah, so I wanted to check it out. Hopefully it's a fun game. So you can pick your name and gender. Uh, and let's start. Hello world. Today's a big day. You are going on a great adventure. On a voyage to the other side of the big ocean. A place of wild forests and frozen glaciers. There was also this weird dream last night. Something about an exotic island, a talking parrot and a shipwreck washed ashore. What's that? A note from your father. You should read it. Let's read it. Good morning, my child. The crew and I are already making preparations at the docks. Please come as soon as you can. We would not want to leave without you. P.S. I've left you a backpack with some essentials for the journey. Thank you, father. So let's take a look. So you can move with the mouse. Oh, oh yeah. So you can move either with right click or with the arrows. You can also play with a controller, but I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. So let's grab our <laughs> That animation was so cute. All right, so let's go outside. And there's also a prologue you can download for free for this game, which is kind of acting as a demo. I didn't try it, um, but if you're not sure, even after watching this video, if you want to get this game or not, maybe you can try out the prologue. All right, so I think I'm going the wrong way, but I'm still gonna go anyway. I, I want to see if there's anything interesting here, but I'm pretty sure the ducks are gonna be on the north side. I don't know, it's just my feeling. Oh no, actually it might be here. Oh no, actually I was going the right way. Talk to your father, Captain Charles. Hey, Dad. How are you, Josh? It is great to see you. There are only a few things left to do until we begin our great voyage. To the snow-covered mountains and forests on the far side of the ocean. Are you ready for this grand adventure? Yes. Oh, great to see you are as excited as I am. We're almost ready to leave. Please, my child, bring your backpack into our cabin and return. Alright, so let's go in the cabin. So that's gonna be my little bed. What a big, big room. I like how, like, the load, like, there's basically no loading screen. Actually, it's really, like, open world. There's no loading screen, so I like that. Now we have everything together except for one important thing. We need a barrel of apples from the warehouse behind the ship. What would we do on such a long voyage without some juicy apples to keep us fresh? All right, let's go get some apples. So you can run by holding shift. I'm guessing that's, oh, did you see the rat? So I'm guessing that's the warehouse, right? I'm not too sure where are the app. Oh, I think this one right here. Yeah, I feel like the animations and the art style in general is actually pretty cute in this game. So we're gonna bring that to our ship. Also the music, pretty good. All right, and are we ready to go? Thank you, my child. We're ready to leave. Fritz and Logan are already preparing to lift the anchor. Please, just your light and nimble. Perfect for tasks up on the mast. Would you climb the rigging and lower the sail for me? Yes, let's do this. Like this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Go up. And like that. And go down. And here. That's really, really cute. All right, and now we just need to do the front sails. So I don't know if you're gonna get to actually navigate the boat in this game, uh, cause I think you're gonna be able to go from one island to the other. So I don't know if we're gonna be controlling the ship or not, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon, right? Thank you for setting the sails. We can finally say farewell to this gray and narrow city. All right, let's go. So I'm not sure why, where are we going exactly? It is so nice to see you, my dear. Yeah, nice to see you too. <laughs> I'm glad we're leaving this city for good. Hey Josh, this weather is gorgeous, right? Oh, I think there's probably gonna be a storm. The salty breeze and blazing sun are just perfect. After losing my farm to the factories from the city, I'm so excited about the chance to start over somewhere else. I see, so that's what they're trying to do. It's you, Josh. There's just about as much room on this ship as there was in the city. Not enough. We're just about halfway there, so I guess I will live through it. Yeah, I think something's gonna happen, right? 
What's up? The sun's blazing, man. Yeah, he's looking really burned. <laughs> so red. I hope it doesn't burn my dome. I really don't want to damage my gray matter from a sunstroke. Josh, I was wondering, could I keep up with the ship's speed while swimming? Hehe, <laughs> definitely too risky to try, even for me. I will just resort back to trying to fish a big sea monster with my fishing rod. <laughs> Oi, landlubber. I hope you don't mind calling you that. I, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> this ship is a beauty, isn't it? Can you feel how smooth it rides the waves? So graceful. Whoever built this ship was a master of his craft. Alright, so I spoke with everyone. Let's talk to Charles again. Oh, what was that? A colorful bird. Oh yeah, there's a parrot. I cannot see it anymore. It must have landed somewhere on the ship. Quick, Josh, maybe you can find it. Okay, let's find the parrot. Okay, so let's see if the bird is up here, maybe. If we can climb the ladder. And go up. I feel like once we're up here, something's gonna happen, right? Something bad's gonna happen. There's the bird, it's a parrot. It looks like the one from your dream, right before you left the city. It's watching you, curious and excited. Something happened. The parrot beats its wing and becomes agitated. Oh, here's the storm. Here's the storm. Return to deck. Oh, okay, so let's go down. My child, have you managed to get a hold of that bird? Oh, it flew away. Why, why is he caring so much about the bird? <laughs> the weather took a turn for the worse, so that must be the reason. It flew off to somewhere, which means that there's land nearby. Strange. We should not encounter land this early. Anyway, the storm gathering right above us makes me very anxious. Quick, Josh, go and seek shelter in our cabin. Alright, let's go. Let's go in. The storm intensifies, trying to tear the ship apart. Powerful waves toss it around like a nutshell. Planks are creaking, ready to burst. Finally, the ship crashes against something massive, and blackness prevails. Oh, here we are. Wake up. What happened? The last thing you can remember is the storm getting worse and worse. What about your father and the crew? You should investigate this island, maybe you can find them. Alright, so let's try to find everybody. And so you've got energy in this game, so, so you need to sleep or eat to restore your energy. And also, by increasing your relationships, you're gonna get some perks. And yeah, let's explore the world. So you can see your energy here at the top. So if you actually, if you run with shift, it actually uses your energy. So I'm gonna try not to run too much for now. Oh, I think you can do some fishing here. But I don't have... Oh, I lost my backpack actually, right? Oh, here's one of my crew members. Oi, Josh. So I was right to see you laying over there. Sorry if I didn't help you. I only just got up myself. I'm sure you noticed this as well, but wherever we are doesn't seem like the place we were setting out for. This is a little too tropical for a snow-covered tundra, haha. <laughs> Damn, I'm dizzy. My head feels like a cracked walnut. You don't look so good either. You should eat an apple from this barrel over there. Oh yes, we got our apples. You, landlubber! <laughs> you look a lot better now. I knew the apple would help. Good thing we took that barrel with us. Always be aware of your energy. We wouldn't want you to pass out in the middle of nowhere. I can see that a big part of our beautiful ship stranded on the island next to us. We should try building a raft to get us across the deep water. How about I gather some of these shredded planks? While you look for the other stuff we need, we need a sail, a mast, and something to tie it all together. I'm sure you can find something useful in this clutter around here. Alright, so let's gather some materials. So I've got some rope, sturdy rope, alright, so that's gonna help us making a raft. Oh, it's, <laughs> there's this little turtle, that's really really cute. And I don't know if you can actually have animals in this game, so I know there's farming. What's that? As you touch the platform, the stone begins to glow in a mysterious light. So maybe that's gonna be some kind of teleport thing. And what's that? Some seashell, oh, some pearls, perfect pearl. Collect all 14 of these to combine them into a unique gift. Oh, maybe we're gonna make some pearl necklace for one of our crew members. All right, so I've got the sail and let's go make a little raft. So that's the little crafting area for the raft and here it is. That was pretty quick. So let's jump in and let's go. Oh, we're already, I thought we were gonna be controlling the little raft on the water, maybe later. Uh, explore the beach to find the shipwreck. All right, let's find some other people and let's find some interesting things. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, they look like they're doing pretty fine. So is that our dad? Yeah. 
My child, it warms my heart to see you alive and well. Josh, it seems like the crew has been split up and as you see, I have not emerged unscattered from this unfortunate event. You have brought Sven with you, that is great to hear. I'm sure we'll have the whole crew reunited sooner or later. You look tired, you have earned yourself a good nap. Use the bed to get some rest. Well, Josh, I'm so glad you're okay. We were really worried about you and the rest of the crew. I've managed to only hurt my arm a little, but your father, Charles, he was hurt badly during the storm. All right, I think he's gonna be fine, right? Don't think he's gonna die or anything like that. Hopefully not. Hopefully everybody survives. So let's sleep. So as you see, when you sleep, it restores quite a lot. Actually, I think it restores all of your energy. It took me a while before I decided to play this game because I don't know why for some reason when I was looking at the screenshots and I was seeing like the energy bar and like just like how their relationships were looking, just the screenshots made me think of like a mobile game. But actually when you play it, it doesn't feel like a mobile game. It's maybe just in appearance, but actually, it does look like a legit fun game, so that's good. <coughs> Alright, so I need to find Fiola at the campsite. And I think she's gonna maybe teach me how to farm. <coughs> Hiya, Josh. It seems that we'll be staying on this island for a while, so we'll need a farming ground. I was able to salvage some tools from the beach, so we can use these. Alright, so... Oh, so I like this. So instead of having like a really long toolbar, you just use your mouse wheel. And you can switch between your tools. So let's dig up a few spots. So I need to prepare three fields like this. All right. This marks the first step in establishing our own little camp. Now it's time for you to plant your first seed. Luckily, I managed to keep some of the ones I brought with me. Take these corn seeds and sow them on the fields you prepared. All right. So corn. So, oh, so you got a button. So if you press Q, you can switch between all of your seeds and all of your tools. And that's really convenient. I like how they're managing the inventory in this game. All right, like this. And now we're gonna have to water them, of course, with the bucket. So, like this. And so let's go get some water. Oh, we've got another one of these. Oh, yeah, so these are the teleportation things, but they need certain items before you can teleport. And so there's Central Island, Campsite, Northwestern Island, Southwestern Island, Southern Island, and Northeast. So there's quite a few islands to visit, and I'm sure they're all going to have like different materials and things. And there's some areas where you're going to need some items before you can go. Okay, all right, so let's get water here. And let's do this one, two, three. I don't know if later we're gonna be able to make some sprinklers or like just some more efficient tools. All right, so next we're gonna learn how to cook. So I need to gather one cooking pot, some utensils and one roasting pan. Yeah, so the inventory actually really reminds me of Roots of Pacha. So you've got this wheel, one wheel for the tool, one wheel for the crops, and then your other items, like you've got a bag for your quest items, components, and I don't know how many things you can have, but yeah, I like that everything is kind of separated. So I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue to like manage your inventory in this game. So the blink rune activates as you touch it. Um... Okay, so I'm not sure what that did. Okay, so let's find stuff for cooking. Oh, I think I've got a little pot here. Yes, cooking pot. All right. And there's a little chest. There's probably going to be something in here. So these are the utensils. And now I just need the pan. And here it is. All right, so I'm gonna build the cooking station here. All right, so here it is. And let's talk to Fiola. Wow, just the cooking station looks great. Good job. Now you only need some produce to cook with. Let's wait a little bit and watch your corn grow once it's ripe. Harvest it and I will show you how to cook. All right, so what should I... Oh, okay, it's actually just skipping until our corn is ready so it's taking a few days and in the morning i think it's gonna be ripe yes 
So, you just harvest it with your hands, so you don't need any tools, at least for now. Alright. So, we've got three cubs of corn, so maybe we're gonna make some popcorns or something. Awesome, those cubs look great. Now you're ready to put that cooking station to good use. Go and try it out. Corn on the cub. Yeah, alright, so let's do this. And so you pick the recipe, you cook, and I don't know if there's like a mini game. No, it's just automatic. And maybe let's make some more. And I think the blue bar here maybe shows you how filling it is. I think. Like this. Alright, Josh, I can smell the deliciousness from here. With such tasty food in your bag, you can be more confident while exploring. If you like energy... Okay, alright, so let's go. So let's go talk to our dad. Hopefully he's feeling a bit better. You managed to set up the farming ground and cooking station. I'm really proud of you. One day you might be too taking care of your very own crew. Ouch. The extent of my injuries is larger than I had anticipated. We'll need to be there for our crew while I'm tied to this bed. Please take this map. I found it on top of my pile of old documents. If I'm not mistaken, it roughly represents this archipelago. It will allow you to navigate and discover the world and find the rest of our crew. You can also use it to quickly return to our camp, but just never leave the camp unprepared. Always try to keep your bags filled with food to eat during your trips. So now I gotta find other survivors. So we have a more precise map of the area. Oh, here's someone else. Ah, Josh, it's good to see a familiar face. I held onto a plank until I washed ashore just now. Oh, you and the others already set up shop. Let's return to the camp. I'm sure I can help you guys out. All right, so let's go back. This is a fine start y'all have made here. What's on his head? There's like a little green. I don't know if that's a leaf or I'm not too sure what that is. To build those, you need to prepare crafting components. I will provide a foundation for a crafting station that you can work with. In the meantime, you can check for tools down at the beach. I can see that some of mine have been washed ashore down there. Okay. So, oh yeah, here they are. So there's a seesaw. I mean a wood saw. Yeah, and that's not a seesaw, right? Uh, wood saw, simple tongs, and a heavy hammer. So, here are the tongs. I'm curious to see what that's gonna be for. Okay, th so that's for crafting. And the hammer is probably gonna... Oh, so that's Sven. Okay, so here's the hammer. So I wonder with the saw if I can right away try to... Oh, it's not actually showing up in my tools here. So they're kind of special tools, I think, right? They might be... Oh, they count as quest items. So let's go back to the camp and make the little crafting station which where where are we doing this right here all right so we're doing pretty good actually for our first few days of being stranded on this island and now i've got an axe so that's gonna be actually a useful tool let's chop some wood as you can see it consumes quite a lot of energy but i'm getting a lot of wood so every time you get a new item also you get like a big pop-up uh, but hopefully <laughs> it's a bit annoying now, but it's gonna be better once after you've played for a while and you've got like at least one of each item, right? I don't know if I can move these fences. I think so. If you use the shovel, you can... Oh, no. I thought I could like destroy the fences or something, but I don't think you can. Um, so use your axe to remove the thorn bush in the south of the camp. Oh, yes. So I'm gonna clear this area right here and gather some wood and explore more. Oh, there's another blink rune here. So maybe after you found all of them, something happens. Oh, I got something here. There's a chest and what's that shiny plunder an essential component of any self-made decoration piece the most diverse trinkets are hidden in this shiny pile and so i'm assuming we're gonna have to repair this eventually i need to talk to logan so let's go see him mm, josh you certainly know how to handle an axe i think you're ready to make use of the crafting station check it out i've added a blueprint for wooden planks so let's go make some planks. So the crafting is pretty much just like the cooking. So it's really simple. You just select the item and then you craft it. 
And that's pretty much it. So let's... Oh, we're building a shack for Logan. So I think that's going to be up there. So I'm sure later this is going to be like... It's like a campsite now, but I think it's going to be more like a little village. And you're going to have shacks. A little shack for each villager. Well, just didn't think I'd say this, but I'm impressed with your woodworking skill. This shack does look very comfortable. Good job. Now, why don't you help Fiola with her shack as well? Oh, so I just learned how to make a single bed, so that's good. So, let's go build a shack for Fiola. Hey Josh, the shack you built for Logan looks so cozy. Thank you for helping me with my own. You will not only need some more wood to build it, but also a special part. I can give you this blueprint for it, but you will need to find the components yourself, explore the island, and use your new axe to open up crates and barrels. So let's go explore where we were earlier on the east side. And actually, you know what? I'm getting super sleepy. I don't want to pass out, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. I think it's getting a little bit late. Alright, so here's some crate. So we got rope. And I need to get some hardwood. So your stamina actually depletes quite quickly when you like run around all the time and use the axe. So I'm gonna eat some corn, but I'm definitely gonna have to cook more stuff and maybe I should try limiting my running around. And I think this might be the hardwood, I'm not too sure. No, that's the simple wood. Oh, what's this? Altar of Flames. Not too sure what that is. And there's another blink rune here. Okay, so maybe I can... I don't even know how I can drop this. And I can't select any tools or... Oh. Okay, let me just activate this one. And... What is that sound? What is... Uh, that was kind of a weird sound. I thought it was going to be like a storm or something. Okay, so let's... Oh, it gets smaller, so it's like a, f a flame, and I think you have to hurry up. Oh, I think that's the sound of the flame, actually. So I think you have to hurry up and maybe bring it somewhere. I think that's kind of what it is. So, all right. Okay, I think I got it. So there's probably something up there, right? So let's grab it and run, 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 run. Yeah, as you can see, it is getting smaller. So we come up here, and oh, there it is, there it is. I think here, right? And you place it here. Oh, shiny plunder. So I think I'm gonna have to find two more. So that's definitely mysterious and interesting. And here we've got some metal scraps. Oh, there's something else there as well. So there's definitely quite a lot to explore. Actually, this island is a lot bigger. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot on this island to discover. You know what? I always love these games where you're stuck on an island. I remember I used to play The Sims Castaway, and that game was so much fun. I think I was playing on the Wii. Yeah, I think I was playing on the Wii. That was quite a long time ago. Oh, we got hardwood fragments. But yeah, it was so much fun. And also, I used to play Lost in Blue a lot on the DS. That was one of my favorite games on the DS. All right, so there's a cave, but before I go in the cave, I'm gonna bring that back. All right, so we're just missing one, and I don't have too much energy. So you can actually... Yeah, I'm really wondering what's that thing. So I'm gonna teleport back to the campsite like this. It's kind of weird because there's no text, but that's to teleport back to the campsite. So, I should be able to make the um, things I need for the shack. So, like this. Alright, so let's build this. My shack looks awesome. Thank you so much. Alright, so I've unlocked another type of bed. And next, I need to build Sven's shack, which is going to need some metal braces. I already have one metal scrap. And let's see, I know you can actually go inside the shack, so let's go see what her interior looks like. Oh wow, it looks a bit odd. Uh, I wish you could still see what's outside, or I wish there were some walls, or that it wasn't as black. But... So that's what the inside looks like, so I'm gonna have to decorate it if I want her to like me a little bit more. 
Oh, actually, I want. I kind of missed out. Okay, let me check that again. If you press four, you can go in decoration mode. So, if you have the materials, which I don't, you're gonna be able to make some furniture to place around. All right, so I'm gonna go to sleep, and tomorrow I want to find the last flame, and we're gonna build Sven's shack. So you don't always wake up at the same time. So it really depends on what time you go to bed. So since I went to sleep kind of early, I woke up in the middle of the night. Um, I can harvest my corn. I don't know what Logan is doing outside in the middle of the night. And he still has his leaf on his head or something. Just explore the island to find more components. Okay, all right, so let's go explore. Oh, and I think you can find some treasures on the ground. There's something I can dig here. So let's see. Oh, key shard. Oh, so that's... What's gonna allow me to actually teleport from one portal to another, right? So, I feel like these things are gonna be kind of valuable, so I'm gonna keep it. I don't really need to go to the other island right now. Um, but that's good to know uh, that you can find them kind of randomly and that you can dig for some treasures. And I really need to stop always running. It takes a lot longer when you walk, but... Oh, actually, there's some stuff here. But yeah, when you run, your energy just goes down way too fast. Oh, I got some corn seeds. I got a new portal here. Oh, so this one is free. So some portals you have to pay, others are free. So that's nice. So that's quite convenient. And we've got another blink rune. I don't know how many I've got, but quite a lot. I love these turtles. There's so many turtles, but they're all so shy. They're always hiding. Oh, and I've got some onion seeds and pristine seeds. So we're going to be able to plant some new things and hopefully we can have a bigger farmland later on. I'm sure we probably will. And I've got another pearl. So I've got two out of 14 and there's a lot of overgrowth here. So I think I'm going to have to clear. Yeah, there's a chest over there. I don't know if I have enough stamina. But I'm gonna try to clear a path and see if there's anything valuable. So I'm definitely not gonna have enough stamina for the flame, but at least I got the chest. So I got a medallion, a personal keepsake to remember the good old days, a great gift, and some more shiny plunder. And I think I'm gonna go back so I didn't have time to do what I really wanted to do. All right, so I slept at this time. It didn't replenish my stamina fully. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna water my corn, then I'm gonna just teleport to the other area. Actually, you know what? I think my corn is still wet. So I'm just gonna go here and here. Oh no, it's not free actually. I thought it said earlier that the travel was free to here. But I think maybe that's because I was already there. Maybe that's why. I don't want to waste a shard just for this actually. So I'm gonna walk and hopefully I can make it this time. I'm gonna make some corn. Oh, there's a new recipe. Let's try corn and onions together. And see if that makes something. Oh yeah, roasted corn and onion. So let's do that. That's a little bit more filling than just corn, right? So let's plant our seeds. So I've got one more corn and one onion. And oh, that's it. I thought I had like a pristine seed. Maybe that's something else. Maybe that's a different type of item. I'm not too sure because I'm pretty sure I collected under. Oh, there it is. A small seed from which a young plant is already sprouting. A great gift for a patient observer. Oh, so maybe... Should I give something to someone? Let's give something to Fiola. Give gift and... I think I can give her the seed. I know she's gonna plant it somewhere. I always wanted one of these. Oh, she gave me a recipe. She gave me a blueprint. Okay, that's good. And uh, Let me give him something as well. Maybe a medallion. I have no need for... Oops. Oh, oh, okay. So you, I think you got to be careful what you give to people. 
not everybody likes everything so i'm just gonna water my crops then i'm gonna have a little snack and we're gonna set out on our adventure to figure out what the flames are for oh there's oh there's a monkey um <laughs> There's a monkey! What can I do? I think he's running too fast for me right now and I'm gonna waste all of my stamp. Oh! Oh! I got something! Oh! Shiny plunder. Can I adopt him? Oh no. So it's just to you can get some items from the monkeys. I thought I could adopt him or something but I, I don't think you can. Oh no! Don't tell me that my flames... Oh... So you need to put... So there's so many monkeys today actually for some reason. Um, oh, there's another portal here. So I think the monkeys, uh, sorry. So I think the flames, you have to put the three flames in one day. Which I think that's not gonna be possible with the stamina that I have right now. And actually I can't even find the flames anymore because there was one here, but it's no longer here. So I'm not too sure what's up with that, but let's check the caves. So... We've got another blink rune here, and some fishing you can do here eventually. Some more planks. Alright, so I'm not sure how we can get there, so I think I'm just gonna go home. And I'm gonna make the camp for the shack for Sven. Alright, so I think everybody has the shack now. The shack looks a lot better than that craft you knocked together. I'm looking forward to taking a real good nap so that I can finally get rid of this darn headache. You should visit your father and tell him that you've housed each of us. Alright. Ahoy Josh, Fiola told me that you are helping with building shacks for everyone. Thank you for taking care of our crew, my child. Now that everyone has a roof above their heads, we need to make use of our little farm. Fiola also mentioned an idea that will help with providing food for everyone. Josh, please visit her at the cooking station and see what she's up to. Do you see that big pot over there? I want to prepare a stew for the whole crew, everyone can eat from it. I bought crates full of different seeds with me, but most of them got lost during the storm. Would you help me by recovering them? So we're gonna have to explore the island and find different seeds and plant them. I'm gonna harvest my little corn. But um, you know what guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today. I've been playing this game for about an hour now. And I gotta say, I am pleasantly surprised. As I said earlier, the first time I saw like screenshots of this game, I was not convinced. I really felt like it looked like a cheap game or like a mobile game or something. And keep in mind, I only paid like five or six dollars for this game because it was on sale. And it's definitely worth it and I would have definitely paid more. But yeah, I'm really, really surprised. So let me know guys if you have played this game. It's been out for like two years, so it's been a while. It's also available on Switch and on console, so if you've played it, let me know what you think. Does it get even better later, or does it get... You know, sometimes games are really good at the beginning, and then they get less good. So, let me know what you think of this game, if you want to get it or not. Um, I'm not I don't know why I'm not passing out, actually. Because uh, I still can run. Like, I can still... Oh, no, okay, so if you... Tr okay, so, okay, yeah. So if you run, you're gonna be fine, but if you try to actually do something, you're gonna respawn, is it the next day? Yeah, I don't think there's like huge consequences, but yeah, that's what happens when you faint. So I'm gonna save, and that's gonna be pretty much it guys, day 5. And I'm gonna keep playing this game because I'm having a lot of fun, but thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you all in the next video. Oh, why did I? Oh, so when you save, you respawn on your field. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. Okay, bye-bye.